Sorry I'm starting this late. <laughs> it was a long day for me. I could just not focus on anything. It was really irritating. Anyway, welcome to the proper finale of Red Dead Redemption 2. Where we last left off, I was an idiot and decided... Shit, I need to find my horse. Anyway, I was an idiot and decided that I was gonna mess around a bit because I totally thought that I could get things done faster than I actually was. So, instead of me doing any side missions, I will focus purely on... Story missions, and if I'm up for it... Some side missions. Is there something I needed in town? No? So it's also getting a little coarse, I think. You won't hear you won't hear it. Or not coarse, it feels it feels like it's getting a little sore. I think I might be coming down with something. I really hope I'm not, but <sighs> ah, come on, it's not damn it. I might need to pause for a moment and swap out controllers. This is the one that has the busted bumper. this one. Ah. Considering where we are at in terms of region, I guess it would be a good idea to So they've always wondered about water pumps. How did they know where to stick them? We wanted to kill this one, will we? He's my favorite. One day, we might have to, yeah. If we need the meat. I ain't doing it. I, I can't. I, I, I ain't tough like you. It's all right. I won't make you do anything until you're ready. 
I understand this is hard to... Uh, I get it's hard to understand, Jack, but you can't get attached to these animals. They're food. But not just food, they're our source of income. In fact, a uh, story my mom told me once. Uh, one time... So she used to live in a farm down in uh, Mexico with her grandparents because her mother, not bad, she just didn't have the means to take care of her, so her grandparents took over for her mother. And while she was down there, her grandfather had a mare that got pregnant with another stallion, or, well, obviously got pregnant <laughs> with another stallion, but it got pregnant, and when the baby was born, my mom would ride it. Or when the foal was born, my mom would ride it, and, uh, Without a second thought, when someone came by and offered her grandfather money for the uh, horse, with like, not even taking my mom's feelings into consideration, he sold the uh, foal. Which just sounds harsh, but when you're running a farm or a ranch, animals are a commodity. You can't get attached to them, because at one point you're either going to need to kill them, or you're going to have to sell one off for something different. Also, why farmers don't name their livestock. Hmm. Come on. I seriously might need to change out controllers. This is ridiculous. Uh, I'm more of an indoor person, but I th uh, it probably wouldn't be too bad trying, uh, doing manual labor on a farm, ranch. Problem is, they'd be looking for someone who's skilled, and I am not skilled. Good old-fashioned unpasteurized milk. I think. <sighs> I so cannot wait for Thanksgiving break. For Thanksgiving break, it has just been such a long and arduous week for me. I don't know if it's just because I'm anticipating the break, or <sighs> if I just hit my limit with school, but shit's been hard. That's all I like to say, oh, woe is me, I have a hard, it's just, I hate it when I have a hard week. Not even a hard week, just when I hit my limit. Don't feel like doing anything, and it's hard to bounce back from it. Hell, if I'm being perfectly honest, I was like half tempted to just not uh, stream tonight. I might need to get my water bottle. <laughs> I'm medicine and I've just been doing chores. Oh well, these ones I don't mind doing since it's literally like if I decide to, I can absolutely opt out of doing it.
Now, I've always found it funny how I'm more responsible in games than I am in real life. I don't know why it's funny to me, it just is. I think I have one more hay bale. Sorry, I was <laughs> I was just laughing to myself. Once I once I start the once I get reached the end of the next Red Dead series I'm planning, I think you'll I you'll understand why I laughed at this point. Chop firewood, move those sacks, and then I will continue on with the story. Ah, <sighs> let me get my shoes off. That might help me relax a bit more. Believe me, I'm not trying to pad out the runtime of this. It's just. For whatever reason, in my head, I'm like, ooh, do the chores. something kind of interesting so apparently axes and hatchets are wedged the way the head is wedged the way it is to kind of help put grip on the wood when you're chopping it so not only does like the blade go through and like if it doesn't cut all the way through it it like holds on to the wood but it also helps drive it deeper each time you uh make it a cut a chop i should say Don't quote me on that, though. I might be misremembering. Yes. Old man. I got lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I've worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston. Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. Mrs. Marston. Why you let him stay? He's actually been pretty useful in a useless way. More or less. Way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. It's the Gettys boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Pa thought maybe you folks oh. would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. Tell your mom, Pa, we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. Then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. 
Pa said this is the least he could do. Said the least he could do was put well, us in good favor with the guy at the bank. Send your pa my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Bye, ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch, this life. It's so nice, John. I hope it'll only get nicer. One can only hope, Miss Mars Mrs. Marston. May I help you, lady? <laughs> oh, John. Tips for Dora. <laughs> some things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. <laughs> no, you don't. I ain't had a drink and... Well... I left those things behind me. No, I mean... I said you drink when you were building the house. Some fun. Like, uh... Decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took, for starters. Portrait? There's a feller in town takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just... Walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them too. If any luck, <laughs> Jack and Charles will eat Uncle. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> uh. So maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay then. Orchard it is. Come on, Abigail, you and me, paint the town red. No, kind of. We've both been kind of hard headed and at each other's throats. Maybe said and done a few things we shouldn't, that shouldn't have been said or done, but. What the heck? The annoying thing was, last episode absolutely could have been the final episode had I just not done those side missions.
Something I'm curious about, I wonder where the studio went to get a hold of a horse carriage. Because I imagine there's not too many around. I know around here in downtown Littleton there's this place that'll do horse carriage rider rides, but in the winter, but so courteous. I don't know. So I'll also show you he's changed, you Miss, Miss uh, Marston. I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. Your chariot awaits, my lady. Ma'am. Taken. That means that Shit, that actually made me sad. Dead. Today it does. Uh, if you, if, uh, you don't yeah, know why, kind of funny. it's because that was a picture of Arthur and Mary. And that ring he's using is what he was going to propose to her with. I am kind of funny. <laughs> a different kind <laughs> of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you, it just, it just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably not. Come along with you. Come along with me. Come along with you, madam. Oh, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So... This voice actor sounds familiar. What do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, our photo. Taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Yes. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. Rustic? Background? Yes. We have Niagara Falls. Paris by night. <laughs> We have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take a take a look. Pick one. What do you think? Let's see the others. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. Oh, yeah, Pompeii. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. Yeah, I guess Paris is kind of a mix of spooky and romantic. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? This is, uh... Mm, <laughs> this is a bar. Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. Look, <laughs> this is your idea, John. It's up to you. You've seen all of them. Anything you like? I'm kind of privy to that one. Ah, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so <laughs> exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy it. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. Thought you were a cowboy and a poser. Oh no, I'm a poser. I learned from the best. That is true. You've done this before. How's this? Lobo. Well, actually, it wouldn't be that uh, instantaneous. If you ever seen old photographs, you notice people aren't really smiling. It's because photographs took hours to develop. I'm going. I'm not to talking about film. Develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. 
<laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Excuse me. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. Miss Roberts, you've seen what that man was capable of. You saw all the shenanigans and uh, hooliganry he got up to. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nasty. Spousal to abuse. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> what do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. Shut up, Abigail. <laughs> what shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> okay, good. Well, oh, she go. loves marvels, and she's gonna. Then she would love the it's real fine um, doing pyramids. Things. Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called Sketching for Sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see Sketching for Sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. <laughs> Thank you again. Come on in. Mystery awaits. <laughs> it's just incredible. It's like they're really there. Hey, I'm trying to watch <laughs> this. Johnny Marston. With that arm, I thought you might be cold. Hey, I'm just doing the classic stretch and uh, the stretch and wrap, whatever it's or whatever it's called. <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John <laughs> Marston. What? Oh, come on, it's a joke. Please, shh. Looks so real. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. <laughs> Stop it. She's a piece of work. Really? Shh. Oh my. Is it over? I think so. Come on. <laughs> Be seeing. All right. <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why? You finally gonna drown yourself? In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. That's right, John can't swim. He never strange. learned how to. No, I'm not. Come on. It's actually really You're funny. So the original Red Dead one, they programmed it so that John couldn't swim. I don't know why. But then they, for this one, they came up with 
the reason why he he dies when he's touching water is because he can't, can't swim. Never learned to swim, I should say. Like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when you can hardly swim? I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. They'll think we're borrowing it. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. All I can see is a strange man rowing. I thought he was John Marshall. Wait, you don't see the steamboats? Now I suspect he's been replaced with an imposter. Here's good. Ain't it pretty? What are you asking? Well, this is really no way to say it, but to uh, you show it. married to you. No, I mean proper. In front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. It's a gift from Martha. You serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I, I never, I didn't know it mattered to you. It didn't. That matters to you. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> to anyone who's seen this for the first time, I so wish I could say they lived happily ever after. <sighs> That's not the way it is. New future imagined. <sighs> Before because I think that's going to take about an hour or two.
this. The other thing I'm annoyed with is in every playthrough, I've never been able to find uh, the other members of the gang. I think I've only ever been able to find Pearson and Tilly. I think in this stream, I in this stream series, I uh, messed up me uh, on meeting Tilly. Ooh, that was further away than I thought it was. Is this horseshoe overlook? Nah. That's a girl. <sighs> oh, and if I'm feeling up for it, I will, uh, before I end the stream, I'll try, if I'm up for it, I will attempt to, excuse me, hunt down the, uh, that, uh, murderer that's been leaving behind the maps.
I wonder if I can take the controller apart and just see what's going on. Eh, it doesn't look like there's any screws. That's one thing I find preferable to PlayStation controllers over uh, Xbox controllers. Screws for easier access. Sorry, sir. Clearly someone lives here, or at least used to live here. I'm trying to be careful here. I don't want to send both me and Rose hurtling down the hill. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Arthur Morgan.
Nice to see someone's bringing him flowers. Sir Galsworthy put down his sword and, and took up his plow. He became the greatest apple farmer in the kingdom. I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? <laughs> what's for dinner? Away with you, you no good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. Hey, John. Abigail. Sadie. Charles. I found him. I found Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys wanted for murdering the woman. Been seen drinking in strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Maka. But I gotta go now. You coming? No, he's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm begging you. No! <laughs> you risk all this? For what? For Maka? All this? All this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur. Sadie and all the folks that fell, if I let him go, this place ain't no more real than, than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is... Please. Please try to... I ain't got no other choice. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Please! <laughs> Let's go kill this son of a bitch then. Yeah. Come on. Let's 
catch a strawberry before he dries out. Which one of Mike's boys is it? Cleet. Which one was Cleet? The big one or the little one? The one with the rat face. My memory is they both had rat faces. The little bastard with the rat face, then. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. You think Arthur cared about revenge? I'm not so sure. Especially not at the end. He cared about stopping Micah. And that's what we're doing. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Hell, nowadays I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? My last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. No, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Go north. Canada, find a woman, start a family, if I can. Can, I see how that life, well, I'd like to try it. Ooh, hey, John, you've given him the family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking I might get out of here, too. Down South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine. But we got some business to take care of first. He's gonna Straw honor our this is it. We we'll leave our horses by the bridge. The then we find him. Yeah. Okay, John, Charles, you take the other side of the river. I'll stay on this one. If we meet in the middle, we would have covered most of the town. If he's here, we'll get him. Okay, let's go. Sure, Sadie. With pleasure. Now, where's Micah? Micah? Well, I ain't seen him. Stop, 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 stop. Where is he? No, 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 no. Micah! Where? We're talking, and I'll start hurting. Where's stop Micah? Hurting. I don't know. I ain't seen him. We fell out. And you know what? I'm bored of this. Let's hang the bastard. Boy, good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring him up to the gallows. Here we go. Drag him over here. Ah, no, stop it. Is it to reiterate my point? I don't know if my microphone was turned off. You heard the lady. Get up there. I, I Keep swear. moving. Listen to me. Move. Stop. No, you stay away. No. Climb. Come here, you bastard. 
Tried to stop him from murdering that little girl. We fell out. Honest. Please, I'm. I'm one of the good guys. No. Hang him. You aren't. No. No. I, I told you. Uh, I can't do it, Sadie. Not like this. Thank you. Thank you, John. No, 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 no. Come on now. You won't ever see me again. I said hang him. Oh, then you wish. do it, Sadie. Oh, oh, Jesus. Piece of shit. Well done. Let's move on. Come on. The little rat said Mount Hagen. It's a long ride. Let's finish this. Naka, we're coming for you. Yeah! Sorry, I didn't get to my point. So, to reiterate... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> to reiterate a point earlier, if you guys really want to honor Arthur's memory, then you'll drop this. He always believed revenge was a fool's game, and not only that, he told John to not look back. In getting We're revenge, this he's looking back. The high Lead the way. There's an old watchtower up there they might be using for a camp. Oh, come on. Whatever, that's bullshit.
Let's go back to Charles. Hey, you're okay. You're okay. I will be. Go on. Go on now. Move fast. They'll come down that hill and kill us all. Come on, John. I don't want to leave him. Hey, they know we're coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just... I just can't move fast. Okay. Come on, John. Shit. Just rub some dirt in it, man. We'll see you when we see you. You're uh, not going to go back for your hat, Miss Sadler? I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, okay. Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. I'll be up Look there who it is. in a minute. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? But I got something to take care of, sure. Just... Oh, my God. How did I butcher that so badly?
disappoint me, feller. I am not losing Arthur's hat. You miss me? Not, Not much, surely. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. And the boy. Whatever you say. I got more, man. Coming, John. You should run away. I look forward to meeting them. Crying out loud, come on. Did I get you? Almost. Almost got you there. I'm on a hand It's just here. Come take a look. Come on now, Micah. At least tell like a man. 
<laughs> Hellfire. It's just like old times. <laughs> Come on. You turn around and start walking. You got me. Hammer's not even cocked. Just like old times. Hmm? All manner of folk paying social calls. Hello, son. Mrs. Gosh. Abber. It's been quite a while. <laughs> Now, John. Now. What were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. <laughs> Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. No, I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. You betrayed you. John. I was trying to do my best. You were trying to do your best? Dutch, you never wanted that to end. You would gladly sell any one of that gang down a river if it meant your ass was saved. You? You just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go! She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch. Killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, Marston. Say something, Dutch! Say something! I ain't got too much to say no more. You shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. One. One to the head. Ah, oh, shit. Well, damn it. Thank you. I... I... You okay? You're crazy. I hope so. Help me up. Uh, Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. Blackwater. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got On the Blackwater job? Wait, all those gold bars, is that from me? No, I didn't put in any gold bars, never mind.
It's over, Abigail. It's all over. <laughs> Dust and God is never rushed commonly by my side right here. Red, Ladies and gentlemen, I love you that does it for Red Dead Redemption 2. It seemed to make sense when Brother Santo said a one more run be enough. What a fucking game. Money for Endless summer. We completed the epilogue. Commonly by my side, right here. Red, I love you in the world. Oh, the buzzing thing and the choking. I can't stay no more. Commonly by my side, right here. Red, I need you in the world When I see you behind the glass I forget that I'm in the cage They bring me to Sunday Mass But it never fit that way What a fucking I love you in the world Seven months gone and seven years to go, Reg. I can't stay no more. Commonly by my side, right here. Red, I love you in the world. Red, I need you in the world. Oh, is this a cool, cool world? There's just, <laughs> I'm just laughing because there's, seriously, I say it a lot, but I, I genuinely mean it. I, when I, every time I say it, there's just no way for me to say anything new that hasn't already been said. It is such an amazing game, and It's uh, kind of funny to me because when it first released, since it was from Rockstar, it, it, was, it was just kind of in my, since Rockstar also made Grand Theft Auto. In my mind, in my mind, it was like, oh, well, it's just Crime Simulator. And then one day it was for sale, and one of my uh, friends had told me that it was an amazing game. So I figured, why the hell not? And I'm so glad I decided to buy it when it was on sale. If it's ever on sale or if you find it for free on anything, for the love of for the love of all that is holy, play this game. Ross. Desert Desert I have seen so much now I see into the eyes of a girl No more, no more cruel On a 
dusty trail I saw a vapor light Was it mirage? Don't know, but it seemed right I felt mission, I felt trust I knew then that I must go to her so, um, originally, maybe it's just because I had a different armor ranking, but originally I could have sworn that the song that played at the end was because that's the way it is. I guess I was wrong. And that's why I named the uh, this episode because that's the way it is. So I think I might need to rename the finale, but... Take care of yourself, Charles. The song is so haunting without lyrics. The day is gone, the time has come. You battled hard, the war's won. You um, worst, you I guess while I'm trying to fight, <laughs> fight back, uh, the glass case of emotions I'm in. Um, since I like this game, I guess something I should start off with that I can definitely say bad about it is the way they handled is the way they handled uh, the mechanics and the, the shooting mechanics in the game. I understand they want to make it realistic, but having to constantly push the trigger again just to re-chamber the next round in your uh, weapon, or chamber the next round, I should say. It usually wasn't an issue for me because I always just popped in and out of aiming down sights, and anytime you did that, it chambered the shell, but I guess the round, but I guess the, the that uh, complaint still stands. It, was, it felt like it was a little unnecessary. I understand the reasoning behind it, but... Hey, Mary. Sorry, I just realized my the console almost console almost fell asleep. Another bad thing I could definitely say about this game. Uh, Sadie, I've said it so many times, but I just found Sadie to be super annoying. I don't think they wrote her very well. If you disagree with me, that's fine. But me personally, I, d I think she could have been written a lot better. But beyond a few complaints I have, this game is a masterpiece. And I'm so... <laughs> and I'm glad I got the chance to play it. And it's kind of insane to believe that I started this series a year ago. roughly a year later. <laughs>
I think what made this game so damn great, not only just the quality and story writing and detail, but the fact that they spent so long making this damn thing. I can't remember when it was originally announced, but I do remember that they had to keep bumping it back just because they kept failing to make, uh, to hit the deadlines. And honestly, because I think because of it, this game came out as amazing as it did. That's why I am super hopeful that Dead Island 2 is as much of a masterpiece. Obviously, with its kind of goofyish nature, that won't, that probably it won't, it, it's not going to be like this, um, how do I explain it? It's not going to be this amazing compared to <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't, th there are few games <laughs> tie with Red Dead Redemption 2, but. There's Tilly. Um, what was I trying to say? Right, but I just hope Left 4 Dead, or not Left 4 Dead 2, Dead Island 2 is phenomenal. Mostly because I was hyped when I first saw that they were go going to release it way back when. And then finally seeing a trailer Confirming that it will be launching next year. I got my hype going again. Yeah, again, normally this is... I, I, like, I just... I cannot do, give my proper thoughts on this because I, I literally cannot say anything new that hasn't already been said in praise of this game. It is phenomenal. And I don't know who the hell was a part of the writing team. But god <laughs> that goddamn were they good. They wrote such with exception of a few, they wrote so many amazing characters. And I just they make they make you feel genuine sadness at Arthur's death not just because he's a protagonist and you're supposed to feel sad but because they did such a good job of building him up and writing him up well compared to in most games where you play as a protagonist who dies it's usually just meh whatever or, I, I shouldn't say that. It can be emotional, sure, but it, it's emotional because you're supposed to be emotional, not because it was a well-written character. Like, you feel sadness when at the end of Mass Effect 3 when you make the sacrifice of Shepard because you spent all that time making your story. You got to know the character, and the same thing with Arthur here. You spent so much time building him up. You've learned who he is, how he is. And they just... They, they just, like, I just cannot say anything new. It's just, it's so amazing. And arguably, he's probably one of, like, the best protagonists ever. Someone actually made a video on this, and they explained it far better than I ever could on why Arthur is probably the best protagonist of... In ever. Uh, 
um, loss systems design. You mean like when I go into town and start shooting shit up? Who are you? And, um, sorry, to, to kind of add on to my thoughts, I think another thing that makes Arthur such a damn good, a good character is how, uh, at least high honor Arthur, because <laughs> I can't bring myself to play a low honor, that's, that's just not me, but how, uh, it's just how high on, it, how, uh, how many lives High armor Arthur touches and helps. The first time I played through this series, I made the mistake of bringing Buell with me. Take care of yourself, Sadie. I may not have liked you, but I hope you're well. I wish you well, I should say. Anyway, just, yeah, just how many people lives that Arthur left an impact on and that's part of the reason why or no, no yeah sorry <laughs> I brought Buell with me and that was super sad because I wanted to hold on to Buell for uh, Hamish to, as like in memory to Seamus and of course that gets negated when at the end you lose your main horse not your main horse but the horse you've been riding the entire game or whatever you t chose to bring with you. It, it's all, all the small stuff they added into the game too. The way you can cu customize your horse. The way you can care for it. Oh, that's Ansberg. Because in most games, it's just like it, it bought like in most games where you need like a horse or a vehicle or something to get you through some to get you through the game. It's like oh, it's usually just a whatever. Sure, you can custom like in terms of cars. Sure, you can customize it, but ultimately it's a thing. You can't get attached to it. And in most other games where they have like a mount you can ride. You usually don't care about it because, oh, it's just an animal, nothing can happen to it. It's just an in-game thing, nothing can happen to it. But in this, but the way they did it, how you can take care of your horse, how it can die if you don't help it, how you could put it down yourself if you were so cruel, <laughs> or if you had to because you didn't have a horse survivor. Oh, I may have been wrong earlier. I think that woman who was writing, that wasn't uh, Mary. I think that was that lady up in that cabin. Um, just... Sorry, I know my thoughts are kind of disjointed. It's just amazing how they did add in so many details that help add to make you care about the, even the small stuff, like the, the chores to help around camp because to make you feel like, oh, I'm doing something, I'm contributing. The stat, the stats like food and I guess medicine didn't really matter. So it did shut.
I guess really all I'm trying to say is they went that extra mile to make you care about your care about uh, things that in normal games would just get glossed over. Like sure, in games they make it so you care about the protagonist, but in I feel like in games where the protagonist dies, sure they make it sad. Like I said, they tried to make it sad, but you feel sad because it's, it's supposed to be sad. Not because you have an uh, emotional attachment to the character. You sexy shit. Fortunately, this isn't the last we're going to be seeing of these assholes. But that's a series for another day. Also, kind of feels like uh, the end of an air, the end of something special because, like I said, this was one of the first games I streamed this a year ago, and that's and this is one of the first games that I started. This is easily, for the moment, my longest running series. That's 28 episodes. For any of you who have stayed with me for that, for this year-long ride, I appreciate it. And for any of you who might have missed out on it, don't worry. Um, I I hate calling attention to it, but I guess I kind of need to because I'm I'm trying to grow in terms of, fo of followers. But if uh, you want, with the exceptions of episodes, I believe one through three or one through two. My entire Red Dead series is on my archive channel on YouTube. Fair warning, I was re-watching re some of those yet, or watching some of those the other day. Excuse me. And there were so many times where I accidentally turned off my microphone and forgot to turn it back on. I might have stated this before, but I'm not a hundred percent. Who's that? Anyway, I may have start stated this before, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Once, uh, once I have the first Red Dead game, thankfully, if I remember correctly, it's backwards compatible. Once I have the first Red Dead game, I will play through that. And I never played through the first one, so it would be a... I know the ending to it, but it would be a totally fresh playthrough. And I can't wait to experience that. It's going to be a bit clunky compared to <laughs> Red Dead 2, but... It'll be well worth it. I also might stream the first Red Dead game and stream Red Dead Revolver. But you're probably wondering, what do you mean? Well, I believe it was in the early 2000s, or at least in the area, era of the PlayStation 2. 
Take care of it. take care of yourself, rains fall. Rain fall rains fall or rain falls. Rains fall. I'm sorry, Dutch got your son killed. Vanderlyn Gang, Dutch Vanderlyn, an outlaw, Benjamin Byron Davis, Arthur Morgan, his most trusted senior gun, Roger Clark, John Marston, somewhat wayward pr protege of Dutch, Rob, damn it. Can I reverse it? Nope. Yeah, so anyway, in around the area of the era of the PlayStation 2, they uh, had a... Well, from my understanding of it, it, it was a Japanese get, got a game company made it, and it was like their take on the Wild West, and then I think Rockstar picked it up. I, for, I forget the story exactly, but basically... In play area play era of PlayStation 2, they made this game called Red Dead Revolver. Which I don't know if it has any relation to Red to the Red De to the rest of the Red Dead series. Because while ten while it is a part while it has Red Dead in the title, it's seldom it's referenced usually as uh, urban legend in Red Dead 1. From my understanding, at least. Of all the names they have for the voice actors of the uh, O'Driscoll gang, only one of those people had an Irish first and last name. Or I guess I should say an Irish last name. Damon Tolstoy, that's not a name you hear often. Ian Scott McGregor. That last name is so recognizable, McGregor. I guess really all I can do right now is just let the credits roll. <laughs> I've I've said all I can. Just an amazing masterpiece. And I'm so glad I got to play it. Zeus Mendoza, that's two badass last uh not last names. <laughs> two badass names. Journal, Catalog, Media, and Entertainment. Ah. 
snake dancer. I don't remember there being a snake dancer. Oh, you know, it's probably one of the times you go on your own. Tony Green Greenidge, thank you so much for all for your casting choices. All tame animals, big mama. Huh. I guess that makes sense. They would need to get motion capture for different animals. But it makes kind of makes you wonder how did they get the motion capture for snakes? Oboe. What the hell's an oboe? I know it's an instrument, but... Woodwind, if I'm not mistaken. Was that, like a big clarinet or something? Viola, which is basically a tiny... Violin. Open him. Unshaken, D'Angelo. That's the way it is. Hi, Daniel Lenoy. Uh, what? That's the way it is. Low, Daniel Lenoy. Now in finale, Daniel Lenoy and Nas. Crash of Worlds High, Rocco DeLuca. Crash of Worlds Low, Rocco DeLuca. Cruel World by Willie Nelson. Red, Daniel. Lan 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 that. Butchered that. Cool World, Josh Home, Now in Him. I can't read that name. Tabletop, Daniel Daniel Leno again. Love came back. Come back. Little Summer Campfire, Daniel Daniel again. Now Banjo, Brandon Brandon Giddens, looks like. Moonlight Nola. Oh, that's going too fast for me to read. Well, Redemption, House Build, Additional Music Arrangement, and counsel, count, Consulting, Eli Smith. Flower Duet. Hmm. Jesse James. I'm going to have to look up... <clears throat> the heck was that voice crack? I'm going to have to look up uh, the... Uh, the... <sighs> that, uh, soundtrack for this game. Just for the ambient uh, sound ones. Ambient songs, I should say. Weird, the song has kind of a haunting feel to it, like... I don't know how to explain it. Like, hearing it play, all I can imagine is just... All the hell the gang went through, <laughs> to say the least. Shit, that's a lot of software they used.
Marcy? Since you bought this millstone around our necks, we'd better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money. I, uh... I don't want to talk about that money. And no more that... It's over, Abigail. Far from it. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own and raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. Good. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. I love it. It's home. Please don't don't give a man a heart attack like that, Abigail. That does it for this series of Red Dead Redemption 2. If you watched it while I was live, I appreciate you stopping on by. If you're watching this after the fact as any kind of archive footage, I also appreciate it. It's going to be a while before I... Anyway, so it will be a while before I get a hold of Red Dead One. You wanna eat? Not for not for family dinner. It's only I guess four ones a decent time to be eaten. Um. Yeah, not because for money reasons, but just because I kind of want to build suspense to it and put a little bit of time in between the next Red Dead series. Uh, the next game I have planned after this, I think you guys will like. It's got an amazing soundtrack and a hell of a lot of games behind it. I think I'll just stick to the most recent iteration of it. Um, at some point, I will try to restream the finale to uh, Dishonored because I forgot to upload it to the archive. Thankfully, if I if I if I'm remembering correctly, I didn't really lose a whole lot, so it'll be a pretty simple thing to do. <sighs> Seriously, if you if you've been with me since the episode one of this, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the series, and as always, I hope you enjoyed.